Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now the other week I produced a video showing you how to make your own cuticle oil and one of the things that kept coming up in the comments was can you refill the cuticle oil pens? Well yes you can and depending on the type of pen depends how you do it. You do have to be careful though as you will see in this video. Now this week's Creator of the Week I want to give a shout out to is Kate Dix of Dixie Girl. Now you may have seen me mention Dixie Girl a few times because I use the stamping plates. Kate is fantastic with her brand of stamping plates and I've known her for a number of years since before she actually produced the stamping plates. But I'm always honest about these things, whether or not a friend produces something, if it's no good I won't promote it. But her stamping plates are the bomb. They are fantastic. So if you see me mention them, you've got to give them a go. Head on over to Kate's channel and give her a subscribe. She does some fantastic videos with swatches and tries out all new different brands. And now let's get on with the video. So I've got three cuticle pens here and they're of two different types. The Bliskis ones are both exactly the same style and then the larger one at the end, this one here is slightly different. And I'm going to show you how to open all of these, clean them out and refill them. This one is probably a little bit harder because you can't take out the nib at the end. So it makes it a little bit more awkward when you're refilling it, but it's a lot larger. And these two are much easier because you can remove that brush end at the top. So it makes refilling it a lot easier. And the new style of Bliss Kiss brush is exactly the same as you can see. It's just the label that's changed. So the method will be the same for both of them. Now this bit is risky. Please, please be careful. But what I'm doing is I'm using a cuticle tool to just sort of lever up the brush end out the end of the pen. Be careful because if you slip, you can really, really hurt yourself doing this. If you have a safer tool that you can do it with, by all means, go ahead and use that instead. You'll probably be much better off than me. I just worked my way around to loosen it and then I'm pulling off that brush end. And this is the Bliss Kiss style of cuticle pen. And you can see, unfortunately, there's always a little residue of oil that's left in there. So I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to pour that onto my hand and massage it in. And then what we're doing here, you can see I've refilled this one before already, but I'm getting another cuticle tool in and levering it up. So just to show you that again in slow motion, at the twist end, now this bit at the top you can see at the top of the screen is the bit you twist, and where it joins the body of the pen, there's a little gap. We want to get a tool that we can pop in there and lever it apart if you can. You can see I'm twisting quite hard, but you do have to be careful doing this. Then you just remove that twist end off. But to show you this is why you need to be careful, it only takes one slip and you'd be surprised the damage that you can do to yourself. And that is real blood. After you've refilled these a few times, it gets much easier to pop them open. Now for the other style of cuticle pen, and this is the style where you can't remove the brush end. This is a bit more stubborn, so I showed you first that I couldn't get anything done with my cuticle tool that I used with the other one. So I'm using a curette end here to release it slightly before I push it up. There's a little ledge that hooks into some ridges and that's what you want to release to be able to pop that end off. Then we just want to take out the insides. That sounds a bit dodgy. It's a bit Dexter that really, isn't it? In my bowl I have some warm soapy water and I'm just taking apart all those different parts from inside the cuticle pen because I want to give them all a very good wash. Clean all the parts thoroughly. If you have like a little bottle brush, that's brilliant and it really helps with it. But make sure you've got all the parts and then I'm popping them onto a pad before I rinse all the soap off them all and allow them to dry. I do like to just give some special attention to the actual cuticle pen brush just to make sure because obviously that's the bit that's in contact with your hands and bacteria the most. So I like to give that a really good and thorough clean. If you do have a little bottle brush you can use, that's even better because it makes sure you get a really thorough clean on all of the parts. And for the tiny little parts, I'm giving them a little scrub just to make sure there's no bits left in them. Once you've left the parts to dry, we're going to put them back together and I'm doing the larger cuticle pen first and that's the one where you can't remove the brush end. And I'm just showing you the bits that go together so it's like a plunge with a clear end and then this little sort of turning washer with ridges on it and we want the if you look on the top there's these tiny little sort of springy bits that are sticking out you want those to be up towards this part I'm putting on now it kind of is really hard to explain without knowing what the proper name is for the different parts and be prepared that when you're using the cuticle pen the tip at the end here will screw on the opposite way to what you expect it to 
And when you're doing this, you want to take it all the way to the bottom because this is how we're going to reset the cuticle pen and make that plunger go back to the original position. Now remember, this is the larger cuticle pen style and that is the one that isn't the Bliss Kiss one. So because we can't remove that brush end, we're gonna to have to fill it from the back. And you can see there's little ridges there and they match up with the white plastic bit here. And that's the position it'll be in when it's gone into the pen. So I'm just going to fill it with cuticle oil. Now I'm deliberately doing something wrong in just a moment and that's because I want you to learn how not to make my mistakes. Honest, it was deliberate, totally, well and truly. So I filled it up with cuticle oil. I'm popping that plunger in and I'm pushing it down. And of course when I push it down because there's an airlock, it's pushing all the cuticle oil out the bottom of the pen all over my hand and all over the desk. So when you do this, what you want to do is pop that plunger in just enough to stop it leaking turn it up the other way so you get the air at the top and then finish pushing it through and pushing it in to make sure that you don't lose any precious cuticle oil. Then we're going to pop the end on and just click it into place and as always I do like to get those air bubbles out so turn it upright so the air is in the top and then just keep turning the bottom until the cuticle oil starts to come out. Now for your Bliss Kiss pens it's very very similar. Again we have this little white sort of gear washer and it's got little springy bits on the top that I'm showing you here. They are facing towards the end of the pen. So you put it down on the little white thread and then we're threading this on again and I get very confused because you have to go the backwards way to what you would expect. Take it all the way down to the bottom because this is how we are resetting that pen. Once it's fully on tight you're ready to pop that into your actual pen casing and it's going to go in at the end and it works a very similar way. You can see that the white gear marks up with some ridges inside the pen. Now for this one, because we've got the actual brush nib out, you can see I'm just pushing it down to make sure it's firmly in. We don't need to worry about refilling it before putting those bits in. So we're going to put the top on, click it into place, which is a bit stubborn, and then turn it up this way and fill it in this end where the brush goes. Just fill it all the way up and leave a tiny bit of space so we can get that brush on. Then pop it down and you might have to be a bit forceful here and it will click into place. Again, if there's an air bubble that you want to get rid of, then you're just going to need to turn it upright. I'm covered in oil. Don't waste any though, never waste any oil. Rub it into those hands. There's the little air bubble. We're going to turn it upright and just like I said before, we're going to turn the bottom until all the air is pushed out and because of this angle, you'll be able to see when the oil starts to rise through the center of the brush. I'm just touching the brush to make sure if it started to come through yet or not. And in a minute, that brush will start to turn yellow. We are just about there. So it gives you an idea of how long you have to turn this. Don't worry that you've done it wrong and it's broken. It does take a little while after you've reset it. There we go, it's starting to turn yellow now. And you can see all those brush filaments are filled up with oil. If you want, you can double check it on your nail to make sure that it is working. Pop the lid on, and there you go. How easy was that? Please just be mindful when you're using cuticle tools that you could hurt yourself like I did. Now I filled up these pens with my homemade cuticle oil and there's a link in the top right corner to a video I created for you showing you how I make my own cuticle oil that's scented as well. I hope this video has been a help. It was so highly requested after the cuticle oil video. So please let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video explained everything for you. And as you can see, you do need to be careful because you can get injured if you get a bit lax when trying to open the pens. If you have any more questions about this, please just leave me a comment down in the comment section down below. Also, I need to give a big shout out and thank you to my VIPs. And if you want to become a Natasha Lee VIP, then head on over to natashalee.vip and sign up. You'll get behind the scenes access information and I'm gonna be doing quite a big announcement there very, very soon. So if you want to find out things first, then there's the place to be. If that's not for you, then don't worry. Thank you very much for watching. I'd love it if you can give this video a big thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed, if you could click that subscribe button and next to it is a bell icon. It will notify you when I upload. Thank you very much for watching everyone and I will see you all very, very soon.